Hey guys and welcome to Farmer Simulator 2017 on Forestry Sunday on the Abandoned Forest by Flatlander, aka The Sim Station on YouTube. So, needless to say, we're starting up a little forestry series only on Sundays, just for a bit of fun. Uh, I do have a few people here and there say, can you do some forestry episodes? So, here we are doing said forestry episodes. So, we're planning on... This is, we're running seasons, as you guys can see. Uh, I spent quite some time playing this map actually just for myself. Not worrying about YouTube and just enjoying seasons again and just a bit of forestry. Get my uh, eye back into forestry and I've been really enjoying it, to be quite honest. I spent one night three hours while watching ice hockey snowblowing this whole road. So, <laughs> needless to say, I've had a lot of fun. Uh, then with the extra awesomeness of the salt spreader that come out on the mod hub. I went ran down these roads and mounted off the rest of the snow. So this map, I must say, is probably going to be one of the top contenders to win the competition on Mod Mania. Hands down. This is Flatlander's second map only, so it's not like he's had a whole lot of help and he's produced several maps in the past. He's produced two this is a second map. And although it is fairly basic, it's got a story behind it which is really cool. And some really neat features, believe it or not. Now it does lack a lot of the farming aspects to this map. Uh, although you can do it if you want. But one amazing thing about this map is uh, that right there. Three locos. But look at the length of the train. Now let's uh, just climb up to the rails here. It's absolutely insane. It's still coming. It is so cool. And this is the first time I've seen it done on a farm sim map. And this is amazing. Because this is legit how long the trains are in North America. Some of them are even longer. And the way it weaves around the map. I mean, it's still coming. It's just awesome. It really is. Now, in some of the videos when I'm in Canada, you hear the rumbling and I'm saying it's a train. It's pretty much this sort of length. Pulling cars, carriages like you see there. We see a lot of those ones with the wood on. A lot of stuff like that. A hell of a lot of those ones. CM, that is the local train. I see a lot of those cars right there. That's the CM one. Uh, never seen too many of those ones that say Alberta. But it's usually a lot of those smaller ones there and the lumber ones and what's called auto racks, which have trucks, cars. When I say trucks, I mean like this abandoned pickup truck on the side of the road here. So it's pretty neat. Uh, the one downside to that train on this map, I feel the horn on it. it, it just, it's too much, it gets irritating. Alright, can't talk about this. This is one of the first maps I've ever seen that have an ice plane on it, uh, when winter hits. So, it's part of Seasons, obviously, it's running Seasons. And you can drive them. Uh, the traction is a little bit funky. Admittedly, I'm seeing... For whatever reason, Ego's tractor puts you with diff locks on all the time. Never understood that one. Uh, this tractor by Ego recently updated. Uh, you can find it. L proper place of download is Mod Hoster. Highly recommend you do a Google search and download it elsewhere because of uploaded. Mod Hoster is turned into rather a scampy website, I'll be quite honest to you, with you. Uh, people that upload mods seems like, from what I'm seeing more and more recently actually, to third-party websites, not uploaded, all of a sudden get their link taken away and they can only upload it to uh, uploaded. Because uh, there was a mod that I went to download and it had three of the links. None of them worked, they all took you to uploaded. And uh, they were trying to link you to share mods and places like that. Decent websites. Nah, all going to uploaded. I think there's something funky going on between mod hoster and uploaded, I really do. Uh, and hopefully I get sorted one day, but I don't see it. I mean, Someone's got to buy their uh, Porsche somehow, I guess, eh? Hey? 
So this map, as I was saying, if you were a role player, someone like instinctly comes to mind, two people, and that's Eustace Farmer and Mark Dupont. Probably have a field day with this map. They really would. I guess we can switch off the beacons. This is our land now. So I thought I would bring you guys along way for a bit of the trip going down to the forestry operation, the main yard. Uh, will I do any farming on this map? At some point I may dabble uh, field 2. I may plant something using some of the old equipment and using an old combine to harvest it maybe. If we ever make it to the summer. Now I have set the seasons to ridiculously long. Because uh, I was just going to play this in snow for myself, but if I'm going to do a series on this, then we may change that up. I'm not worried about crop right now. I really don't care about crops, so we'll see how we go from there. We're almost, almost here. Turn along there. No, the yard is just up ahead. Now these trees here, I'm not actually sure if they are scenery or stuff we can actually pick up off the ground. I think they're scenery, quite honest. Which makes it interesting for bringing a transport truck down here, taking the logs out. Because there is this to deal with. I mean, I can try something quick. Oh, fir tree, yeah, it recognises it. So in that case, then, uh, yeah, we should be able to pull that out at some point. Hopefully the fact they're not moving is kind of concerning. Do I actually... I'm going to try something. Uh, muscles mode on... I, there's a part of me that thinks we can't actually lift this up. Oh, it is moving there. Oh, so maybe we can. Okay. Not to worry then. We'll. Uh, oh yeah, that's moving for sure. Look. Interesting. Oh, we may be able to get it out at some point then. Or we'll just chainsaw and cut a few pieces up. That's cool. Same here, look. But the way they're in there kind of adds a bit of character, so I don't know. I may take. may, may leave one in, but take the rest out, I don't know yet. I really don't know. So this tractor here we'll probably use for snow clearing and so forth. There's our salt spreader. The Unimog for pulling the logs, we've got the winches on there. I always get lost going to our site, I think it's down that way. Yeah it is. So this is how we found it, just completely abandoned. All this equipment was like this, we've not touched any of it. A real, real cool pumping station here for the water that, that you need to fill up with diesel. I like that a lot. Uh, the workshop. You'll recognise some of these buildings are from Snobnokia, which this is perfect for them. Uh, fuel storage here, which is sick. I love this. We have to fill up our tanks. I would say I would love to see this on more maps. 100%. I think it's a lot more legit. I would love to see it on Oakfield, uh, personally, but Oakfield doesn't have a fuel station. Uh, this we bought down, although I can't really use it because of the roads. Obviously the seed is left there. Uh, this is a seed and fertilizer area, I believe. Uh, fertilizer. Don't know what that one is. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that is there. Maybe storage unit. Uh, it looks like there's some old dairy or sheep or something. Pigs, maybe. I don't know. But we're not going to get into that. Maybe, we'd like I say, a bit of crop. Uh, our snowplow here. So we've got some of our stuff just littered around. 
Alright, let's jump back into our Thint. Now the reason that's there is because I updated the Fent and we did have originally have the Fent able to take the salt spreader, which is up on the mod hub. And I must say, this thing is pretty cool. You have to fill it with salt. That's what the salt texture looks like. Uh, it's grit. UK gr style grit. We call it grit for whatever reason. I don't know where that terminology comes from. And our stuff, uh, unlike in Canada, for example, where I go a lot, it's white salt. Kind of looks like table salt if you like, or rock salt. Uh, which is what it is. Ours is that orangey colour. I'm not really sure the story behind why they call it grit instead of salt. Or gritters. More importantly. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a conglomerate mess of uh, machinery. Front loader by the looks of it. Buckets, forks, forestry. A uh, tank that we need to write. Uh, we do, and then we have loaded a truckload of The logs there, and uh, Rob, this is for you, buddy. Yep, I painted it yellow after that night that you said about it. So, we'll see if you're watching. So, we'll probably cut some down. Uh, I don't think these are going to be long videos, probably about 25 minutes long. It's just filling a gap that I realized I don't burn anything up, so, well, why not put this up? Really? So, this, you can see where I snowblowed all of this. This is our pathway to our landing site. And we've got a trailer there too. And here it is. Here is my uh, my forestry zone. I wonder if this will actually attach. Oh, that's pretty cool. It will attach underneath. Oh, of course, all the pipes will connect. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. So we've got our leap pair here. I've got to say, the grab on this is infuriating. And the same as it used to be. Uh, we've got the Ponzi for cutting down the trees and sizing them. We've got the Dutz for 9 series. Oh my god, this is a beautiful track. And here is our snowblower. The thing works amazing. So, uh, let's... Go down and fell some trees. I know the way I'm doing it's not legit by dragging them backwards and putting them in a pile. Uh, some stuff I want to do to get that sorted at some point and create a proper zone for them. So I'll move this over. And we do have the other leaper on tracks there with the fella buncher. I just wanted something to size them down to, so. I don't know if we'll use this today, actually. We may just use the the tractor to load that trailer up. And then, you know, if needs be, we could take it down with that. So we'll jump in the buffalo. And this thing, on snow, is just an animal. Now, you can see I've just driven around out here on the snow. This is one of the fields. Field 1. Uh, this whole snowbank here, I put through with the snowblower. And this thing just goes through like there's no tomorrow. I was genuinely impressed. Genuinely impressed. This is what's going to make a liar out of me now. Alright, let's get back in the forest and make it clear up. At some point I will run through here and probably snow blow and get a lot of that out. There's some real big trees in here actually, it's surprising. It's nice to see actually. Compared to some of the maps we've had out recently, West Coast, Oakfield, stuff like that, that really scaled the trees. So you don't get a good price for them. And drag this puppy out the cut. If it wasn't for all the foliage in there, I think I would actually just lay them down. We'll just do it this way. It works. And that was that. 
Just a smaller one. Though. I'm looking for some of the really big ones. So, like this over here. This one looks actually fairly dead wood too. So I'd like to know what you guys think of this after you've watched it and whatnot. Why are you not cutting this? Why is it not cutting that? Cutting it high, but that'll do. This is a big tree. This is a big one. Yeah, so let me know if you guys want me to continue. Oh, I don't know. No, let if you want me to continue doing this type of thing. I can really do with a processor. I think there's a mod out for this where it is a processor. You can pick the logs back off the ground. You can do it with this, but you end up getting like a little off cut. Which is a bit of a pain in the rear end. This is a big tree. There. I drop that piece there. Next. Yeah, these rocks and stuff are going to become a bit of a pain. You can see we're going right on through here already. Come on. So, in theory, yesterday you should have had a American truck video, hopefully. Should have put things being equal. Can. There we go. Alright, we'll get the this chopped and probably attempt to low with that tractor. I haven't actually done much with the tractor, so I don't know how that's gonna be. If push comes to shove as well, I do have a uh, leaper excavator down at the yard that is ours as well. That we bought through once we found this area. This seems legit, it's just chilling on the top of our uh, processor. Are you gonna get off or am I gonna have to help you? I'm gonna have to help you, apparently. Alright, drive this up here. And we will bring. We'll actually connect that, that up to this little trailer. this move that over there and I can be in the middle hopefully that'll be a cool or cool but it'll work now the unfolding animation this thing's pretty cool so the land and legs go down there with the stabilizers that and and close this off. It's not me doing this, this is it doing automatically. And then it'll swing out around. Hopefully, it doesn't climb into anything. And there we are, bam. It's ready to go. We'll fold our cab around. So we have. Some more of the crap for you. 
I think this would probably be re surely remote control from outside the vehicle, because, well, visibility on this thing, yeah, kind of non-existent. I just want to make sure I can reach over there. Yeah, it looks like we can. I wonder. Jump into this quick. See if it will connect to the back of this. Oh, I want it to be a bit more stable. I don't want it to fly around. And well, 13 ton loader should help. Or 30 ton. Alright, let's pick our... ones to grab. Now, I don't know how many of this is going to be able to grab at once. Look at the fact it's folding in on itself. Yeah, it's going to be the same type of claw that giants use. Isn't the best. That's weird because it's like there's some sort of. Well, you guys can see what's going on here. I've not got a log on or anything like that, and it's just acting weird. I've noticed it when I was trying to pick it up with the leap head, too. Some of these. Not unless this thing's bugged, which, yeah, you never know, unfortunately. Let's try and swing it over. Now, I feel the leap air is probably going to be our best bet. Because uh, I don't want to do this one log at a time. Even the uh, the leaper over here, we didn't have to do one log at a time. That's someone what? <laughs> oh dear. Now I know you guys can probably hear all the kitchen doors or cupboards being slammed for whatever reason. Nothing I can do about it. So like that. There we go. Oh, come on, get up. Wow, yeah, I'm over this one. <laughs> I'll use the uh, wheel loader, I think. The claw on this thing's like, it's worse than the Giants one, I think. It's like rubbery. That is hot and not a whole lot of fun at all. And you can see it's actually messed up the folder. Maybe it's still got issues. I don't know. We'll keep the tractor for sure. But uh, yeah, that grab, now I've actually properly used it, is complete junk. <laughs> it really is. So, well, the fact we even lost this. I'll just throw it there for now. This thing is uh, a pain in the rear end too, but not as bad by any means. And we're almost at the end. So, this is kind of like a pilot episode to see what you guys think and if you guys like it. Uh, if you do, then we'll continue doing some more on Forestry Sundays. If any of you guys used to remember, I used to do something called Forestry, Food, Forestry Fridays back in the day. Uh, going back, geez, uh, 2015, 2014, so, uh, nah, 15, 2015, I think, I was doing Forestry Fridays. It was, I don't think it was in FS17. So, kind of bringing that back for those of you that want to see that. Cheedy McGee big time here, but. If we can pull this off, we'll do it.
Oh yeah, that worked. Come on. Alright, we'll see if we can get another one and then we'll call it quits. As I need to live stream today too. Now I know with this thing there's probably some finesse you just got to do, like you can't grab the log stupidly hard, but from what I'm finding with these trailers, as you guys can see right now, there's some weird physics acting upon it. I don't know what's causing it. I have no darn idea. Definitely some weirdness going on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll actually just put this kind of there for a photo. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Shall we continue doing this every Sunday? And I'm going to be playing a bit of it off camera. So like I said, these videos are going to be mainly fairly short. So until next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.